In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a landing page for affiliate marketing. So I've made this landing page here completely for free for a ClickBank product, which is going to pay me $38 for every conversion. So here's the landing page that I made. And here is the landing page of the, the ClickBank product. So I will get my traffic to go to my landing page first, where I'll capture their email and name. Then I'll redirect them to the ClickBank product. And if they buy, I'll earn a commission. Now, if they don't buy, I've got their first name and email so I can send them emails. And I'm going to show you how you can do all of this for free in this video. Now, the great thing about promoting a ClickBank affiliate product is a lot of them have email swipes for you. So with this video, you can follow this whole tutorial. You can copy the email swipes into this system. And essentially, you can make money just by copy and pasting. You're not going to have to write your own emails. The only thing you're going to have to do is edit the template. And I'm going to show you how you can do all of that in this video. Now, this is all going to be done on system.io. Now, if you haven't heard of system.io before, don't worry. I'm going to show you everything. Just go to the link in the description below and you can go ahead and click it and sign up. Once you click on the link, it will take you to this landing page. And you can see I'm going to show you all of the free features. So you can send out emails, you can build landing pages for free, and you're not even going to have to edit your enter in your credit card. So go to this landing page, enter in your email address and sign up. Once you've then signed up, you'll be taken to this dashboard here where you can now start to create your landing page. So first you want to go ahead and go to funnels and on funnels, you won't have any funnels created. You just want to click on create and you can start to build out your funnel from scratch. So give it a name. It doesn't matter what you call it. No one's going to see this. So I'm just going to call this YouTube tutorial and your funnel domain is by default. It's going to be your username.system.io. Now you can go ahead and connect a custom domain. You can see I've got a custom domain here. I've made many videos showing you how to connect custom domains, but for this video, we'll just keep it on the default one. Then you want to go ahead and click build an audience and just change your currency to whatever currency you use. In my case, I'll just change it to USD. Now we'll click save and now we can start to build out our landing page and our funnel from templates. So you want to go ahead and go to the click on your name, click on your funnel, and it, it will then take you to this window where you can now choose a template. Now, if you go ahead and click on 30, you can see more on one page. And what you really want to look for here, you want to look for a template which already has the email opt-ins in. Now you can build this from scratch, but I would recommend you find one that already captures people's e emails. So I'm going to find one here together with you guys. I think for the video, we'll just go with this one here because it is simple and I can show you most of the features that you're going to need to use. So if you want to preview it, you can go preview template. I'm just going to go ahead and select it though. And now we, we have selected that. Now we want to give this a name. Now people are going to see this. It's going to be what they see at the top of the tab. So maybe you want to name this around your offer. Now, obviously when you're creating these landing pages, you obviously need an offer to promote. I'm promoting an offer on ClickBank, which is going to be a digital product and which someone can buy. The offer I'm promoting is this one right at reviews.com. Get paid to review apps on your phone. And this is the landing page. So, so people can do a quiz. And if they buy this product, we're going to earn here $38. So when people buy my product, they're going to learn how they can make $25 to $50 per hour writing reviews of apps on your phone. For my squeeze page here, I'm just going to give it a name, something like get paid to review apps. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. Now you want to go to edit page and here's where you can customize this funnel and you can essentially build out your landing page, right? So here's a quick overview of system.io and the interface. So on the left here, you've got all of the elements that you can add. Now you can add additional elements as well as customize each individual element on the screen. If you go to blocks, you can also add like specific blocks, like opt-in forms, all, all of these different blocks here. Now we're not going to get into that. So you can see if you highlight over every section or element and you can see what you're highlighting. So here we're highlighting this image and you can click on it and you can then change all of the settings about this element here on the left. So you can go ahead and change this image in this, in this sense, um, action when image clicked, you can send them to somewhere. You can change the image size, the margin, blur the image, and you can do a lot of stuff, right? So let's start off by changing this image to the logo of our product. So I'm going to go ahead and right click here, save image as, 
and I'm going to save this image. So this logo, right? Then we're going to go back to the editor. We're going to find this image. So select file. Then going to select it. And we want the actual logo. So we'll click on this one here. Then insert. Okay, so now I've got a logo in here. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to bring the image size down here because we don't want this too big. Now I'm going to get rid of this home contact and this other button because we don't need these. And I'm also going to click on the top section. And what I'm going to do where it says padding, I'm going to bring the padding down a bit like in so we can center the logo. So now we've got this, right? So now we're moving on to the header. So because this is a product about making money by reviewing apps, I'm going to write something along those lines. So we'll just leave it at that. Do you want to make money reviewing apps on your smartphone? And then here I've earned 25 to $50 per hour reviewing simple apps. And obviously you can customize this however you want and you would have your own text depending on what product you're trying to promote here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to like kind of tweak some things. So you might notice here that this like, this is too big, like this header, or this dead space, sorry, is too big. So if you go ahead and click on the section and you scroll down here, again, you can change the padding of each of these sections. So now this looks a bit better. Same with the text here. Now, if you click on the text, you can go ahead and edit like the font size, uh, the line height. You can edit a lot of different stuff here. You can change the font, the background. And if you go to the margin, you can bring stuff up and down. And what I would recommend you do is go through these settings and like, kind of to see what each one does and it will allow you to customize your page however you want. Again, this is all going to be try and error, trial and error. So just be patient and you'll be able to get the page looking exactly how you want to. But anyway, we're not going to get too caught up in the simple changes. I'm just going to change this text here. So here I've wrote fill out the form below and start your first job today. We'll bring this font size down a little bit. And here on this padding, I'm just going to bring this down. And you can see how I'm changing this to how I like it. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with that for the video. Right, so now what you want to do, you want to make sure you've got your inputs. So this is why I suggested to choose a template with the inputs already in. So you've got first name, last name, email, and submit. If you wanted to add your own inputs, you could just go ahead and go to form input. And let's say I wanted to add my own inputs. You could then click on the settings and you can then choose what you want the input to be. So you could choose like, first name and then you would drag another one in and you could choose uh, email and obviously you would just choose it and it's going to give it a tag here but obviously if you've already got these inputs on the page already you don't need to add them as long as they're tagged correctly you'll be fine so now we've got this submit button so if we click on this we can choose what we want this button to do so action when button clicked you want it you want it to send the form always um, but you might want to redirect someone after they've clicked on submit to a landing page or like an offer, ClickBank offer. So if you click here where it says to a custom URL, you can enter in your affiliate link here. So I will go to ClickBank, I will click on promote, enter in my nickname, click on create hop link. All right, I've got an error here. Let me just go ahead and fix this. Okay, so now I've logged back in. Now I can copy my affiliate link and now I can paste my affiliate link here. So now when this button's clicked, it's going to send the form. So it's going to capture their first name, email, and last name. And it's also going to redirect them to my landing page. So let's save these changes. Then I'll show you how you can preview it. And then real quick, I'll show you how you can add in these emails and send out emails to your list. So if you go ahead and view these changes, or you can preview just this page, or you can go back and you can preview the whole funnel. Now, when you first make the funnel, it might add additional pages. So you can see you've got a thank you page here. For promoting ClickBank products, you don't really need to have a thank you page. You can just remove it because you can just send people straight to the ClickBank or your affiliate page here. Right, so now that's been removed, we'll view the funnel and we'll see what's going on. So here you've got your funnel. Here's the landing page. Now you can obviously customize all of this or remove it. I didn't know this was here when I was creating it, but you can customize or remove this if you just want a simple opt-in. Now let's enter in the first name, last name, and email. Okay, so let's just use this email as an example. We'll click submit. Okay, it's got to be valid. And once I click submit, it's then going to redirect me to my affiliate page here. And if someone buys, uh, we're going to earn a commission from that. So now what we need to do is set up our email campaign so we can capture these emails 
and send them emails. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and go to emails, you wanna to go to campaigns, and here you need to create a new campaign. Now I've already got a campaign, and in the free version, you can only create one campaign. So I'm gonna delete this one and create a new one. So if we click on create, I'll title this YouTube tutorial, so things are consistent, and then we'll click save. Now what we can do, we can go ahead and click on this. We can now create emails. So click create, and you can now go ahead and copy the emails from these email swipes of your affiliate product. So click on email one, want to be a product tester is the subject. Now it's just a simple job of copy and pasting. You can change the sender name and send an email. Click save. Now we'll copy in the body and we'll paste in the body here. And some of these emails have like these tags here where you need to enter in their country. Now, if you haven't captured their country, you can't enter it. So you may need to tweak these emails a little, a little bit. If you have a device, tablet or smartphone and can devote at least five hours weekly, then read on about what this position ent entails. So that will be email one. And you will go ahead and uh, write to these people every day, email free. And you can do this for 20 days, right? So maybe you wanna go ahead and link your affiliate link inside of this email. So I'm going to, right here, you can check it out now here. And then I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to click on this link tool and I'm gonna then paste in my ClickBank affiliate link, which again, I will find on the ClickBank product. Paste this in and now we're good. So now you wanna go ahead and click save and publish once you're happy with your email. And again, you can customize this however you want. Click save and publish. And here where it says delay before sending email, maybe you wanna add a delay of one hour. And then for the other emails, once you go ahead and create them, you might wanna change this to like two days. So the second email will go out two days after they sign up. And the third email will go out three days. But for the first email, maybe you just want it to be delayed for one hour and then the changes will be saved. You can now go ahead and exit. So now you need to go ahead and create all of these different emails. Click create and keep doing this same thing for all of these different emails, right? Now you just need to connect your funnel to your email campaign and you're literally good to go. You've got a working email list. You've got a working funnel and you can go ahead and promote this. So go to your funnel. You then wanna to go to automation rules, click add rule. And then it says here funnel step when form subscribed. That means when someone enters in their details and clicks clicks on the button. When someone subscribed, you wanna click on that, add action. You want them to subscribe to a campaign and you want that campaign to be the email campaign you just created, which in my case is called YouTube tutorial. Now we can save this rule. So now when someone goes to our landing page and they enter in our details, they click submit, they're gonna be then added to our email campaign which is this one here, YouTube tutorial, and they're gonna be taken through the email sequence that we've created. So you can go ahead and test this yourself. You can check that your email has been added by going to emails, campaigns, and the email count should go up if you test it, like put in a random email. If the email count goes up, that means someone's been added to your list and everything will be working. So that's how you can create a landing page and promote affiliate products using system.io and send out automated emails. Now use that to your advantage. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.